All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be talking about Hogwarts Legacy most up to date news. And quite honestly, these are very frightening news as we near the release of Hogwarts Legacy in early February to some of the latest models of gaming. But before we dive into this, I do want to let you guys know that I am giving away a copy of Hogwarts Legacy on your platform of choice, whether that be in PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, S, or any version or the PC, of course. If you want to receive that copy, just make sure you guys do subscribe and leave a comment down below saying anything. It can be what you're excited about in Hogwarts Legacy or it can just be about anything in general. I'll be doing the drawing at 3,000 subscribers and we are getting very close. So you definitely do want to enter before it ends. Now, let's get straight into this because there are some very frightening news as I mentioned, right? So in short, GameRat has pretty much put out an article saying that some Hogwarts Legacy players are finding their pre-orders for the game being canceled. Now, what these pre-orders include is you have your standard edition, your deluxe edition, and the collector's edition, each with its own benefits. Obviously, the collector's being the most expensive. I think in my opinion, the best choice is your deluxe edition because you get 72 hours early access to the game because a lot of people are going to want to get their hands very early early on in this game just to avoid spoilers and definitely it's going to be a choice for a lot of content creators like myself but in general these are the three editions let me know what you guys think of these editions which one you're going to opt for and going back to the news here so hogwarts legacy release date situation has been quite confusing on february 7th those that have pre-ordered the digital deluxe or collector's edition of hogwarts legacy will get to start their adventure meaning three days early before everyone else despite the fact that the game's official release date isn't until february 10th and once again i just want to talk about that so everyone is kind of clear on that that matter the february dates only applies to those that are playing on pc ps5 xbox series x s and those on ps4 and xbox one will have to wait much later date and so on and so forth if you're on the nintendo switch but nevertheless so players have been putting in their pre-orders on this game now if this whole release situation is not confusing enough because there's just so many different dates and people are going to be enjoying the game spoilers are going to be out there and if you're on the nintendo switch you have to wait a few months before you even get your hands on the game what happens is that hogwarts legacy fans have had their pre-orders canceled yes you've heard me right their actual pre-orders canceled so basically what happened is various posts on social media have shown that hogwarts legacy players are getting their pre-orders canceled and are confused as to why wb game support has responded to these posts about their canceled hogwarts legacy pre-orders and it apparently is because of the ps4 and xbox one version delay this version of the game is included in the digital deluxe edition for the ps5 and xbox series x versions which is causing the pre-order cancellation anyone impacted on the ps5 and xbox series x should be able to pre-order the game again with no problem so the issue is because of the ps4 and the xbox one the versions had to be delayed now the problem with that is that they kind of share in a way the similar platform structure in terms of how they're rolled out in updates so what happened was the ps5 and xbox series x certain players and certain pre-orders also have had their orders canceled which they shouldn't have so it causes huge delay and honestly panic in the community thinking that now pc versions are going to be canceled as well and everyone is just freaking out because because once again this is a highly anticipated game people don't know what to expect and honestly any sort of cancellation is just going to spark a huge outroar so what happens here is that only ps4 and xbox one versions are going to be delayed further now this is also going to cause an outcry because they've already been delayed versus you know the ps5 xbox series x and pc so now they have to wait even longer maybe even as long as the nintendo switch so this is going to cause a lot of problems and quite honestly wb games did respond to this so they said thanks for the clarification this kind cancellation is due to the delay of the release of xbox one version which is included in digital deluxe as i just mentioned so i just want to show you guys the tweet here now what does this mean moving forward for the release in early february i think generally speaking there's going to be a lot of problems coming up along the way because usually whenever such huge titles are near the release day and honestly the anticipation has been for years especially if you're a harry potter fan you might have even anticipated this game your entire life as i read some of these comments on my videos right so in general there's going to be a lot of problems that roll out because the demand is going to be so high the expectation is so high the slightest fumble is going to cause a huge problem so what wb games and avalanche studios etc they want to do is they want to release the best product they can and in general they don't want to kind of play with fire so if there's any small issue they're going to delay the release it's quite simple to kind of understand right you don't want to kind of mess up how you release a game because any fumble is just going to be seen as a huge mistake so they want to release it when it's fully complete has no issues 
Do I expect it to delay once again? I definitely do. Let me know what you guys think below in the comment section and do let me know what you guys think of these news. Are you guys on the PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, or Xbox One or Xbox Series X? And did this affect you? I want to know if it affected you guys as well because it didn't affect everyone. At some point, you know, WB Games and Avalanche did notice this was an issue, so they kind of stopped the rollout of these cancellation of pre-orders and they're working actively to fix it. Now, if you guys did enjoy this one, then definitely do consider subscribing and leaving a comment down below to be entered into that giveaway. As I mentioned, I am very close to 3,000 subscribers and we're going to reach it very quickly. So if you don't want to miss that great opportunity to receive your own free copy of Hogwarts Legacy, even if you're going to be playing it delayed to what you were expecting, then definitely do consider subscribing. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Honestly, it's been amazing. And honestly, making content for Hogwarts Legacy has been really fun and I'm even anticipating uploading a whole playthrough and a walkthrough and guides for Hogwarts Legacy. So it's going to be a ton of fun and honestly, I can't wait for the release because there's so much that I can do with this game and there's so much you guys can also enjoy in terms of content. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'll see you guys in Hogwarts.